Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I make the Felicia combo is what it's called now. It's what everyone on Instagram has named it and I'm down for it because it seriously is the best lunch. I've been eating it every single day. I've been craving it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I can't stop eating it. I don't know what it is. I'm just so obsessed with it. Like I could eat it for every single meal, which I don't, but I totally could. I mean, I haven't even been posting like lunch ideas on my Instagram, which I kind of feel bad, but like I seriously can't stop eating this for lunch. Like this is my favorite lunch. It's so filling. It's so good. And even if you don't like cottage cheese, you can not use a cottage cheese or just try it mixed with the eggs and stuff because it seriously is better than you would think. So I'm going to show you what you need. So what I use is these Arida shredded hash brown potatoes. These are two points for one and a half cups, which is like amazing. So I use one and a half cups of this. I usually do one egg. Today I'm going to do two eggs, um, runny eggs. I'll show you how I do my eggs. I get a lot of questions on that. And then this is my favorite turkey bacon right now. It's the Sam's Choice turkey bacon. I get it at Walmart. And it's just like the, the pieces are really thick. I'll also show you how I do my turkey bacon. I get it extra, extra crispy because that's how I like mine. And then this is my favorite cottage cheese right now. I get it from Walmart. It's the Great Value 1% low-fat cottage cheese, um, which is one point for a third of a cup. I might do a half cup today. I'm not sure. Probably I'll just do a third. But, oh, struggling. But, yeah, this is everything you need. It's super simple. And you also need Pam spray. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to show you how I do it. First thing I do is just turn my, my heat up to like medium high and I spray some Pam in here. And then I already have my hash browns measured out. So these are frozen. I measure mine frozen. So I just dump, that's one cup and a half. So it is a lot um, for two points. Like I think it's so awesome. So while that is warming up there, I'm going to take my turkey bacon and I just put it on a paper towel and fold the paper towel over and then I will put it in my microwave for three minutes this is my trick to get it extra extra crispy so three minutes trust me if you like your turkey bacon or bacon in general really crispy then that's what you gotta do so these are frozen like I said so I just keep going like this mix them around until they thaw you can keep them on longer to get them like crispy, but I like mine just like warmed up and like soft. I don't know, not soggy, just like soft. I don't really take the time to like toast them golden brown, but you totally could if you wanted to. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let these warm up, let the turkey bacon cook, and then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so now the hash browns are all warmed up. This is how I like mine, just like warmed, hot, but not like toasted, um, but you could totally do whatever you want. So I just lay those on the plate like that. And then I'm gonna do my eggs. So I don't like my pan to be too hot when I'm doing my eggs. So I'm gonna set this up so I can show you guys how to do it because I get a lot of questions on how I make my eggs. So here we go. Okay, so I just spray some Pam. I take an egg. Crack it in there. And then you just want it to cook a little bit and having a good pan is the key. So this pan is called the green pan. I got it at Target. Um, I probably don't even need any pan spray at all, but I still use it anyway. So I just try to move it around a little and then I just move it to the side and flip it. See how it slides around so easily? So there's one. So, uh oh, I'm going to take that and lay it right on top of the hash browns. And then I'm going to take my next egg. I normally do one, but today I'm like super hungry, so I'm just gonna do two. There we go. And my turkey bacon is done, but then I just let it sit in the microwave while I finish and it gets it like crispy. So it's just sitting in there without the heat on. Um, so yeah. I get so many questions on how I make my eggs, and this is how I do it. Like I said, it's important to have a good pan, um, so I just let it cook up, and then I flip it. Get all those whites cooked. Okay, 
So, let me fix my camera. I'm going to take this next egg, plop it on there, and then I'm going to turn off the heat, get my turkey bacon out of here. So, this is what it comes out like. Little paper towel stuck to it sometimes. So it's literally so crispy. Like, I can't even tell you guys. It's the best. That's the only way I like my bacon. I don't like it um, soggy at all. So cook your bacon however you want, but this is how I like mine. And then I'm just going to take my cottage cheese. I'm gonna do a third of a cup. Oh yeah, so good. Okay, let me find my third of a cup real quick. Okay, so I'm just going to take a third cup of cottage cheese. Put it on there. Don't knock the cottage cheese with this mixture until you try it. Because it seriously is so good. So, this is it, you guys. And then you just take, we get a fork. You take your fork and break up the yolk. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. And then I'll show you guys how I eat it and how I think it's the best. Okay, so this is the way I eat mine. Normally I eat my turkey bacon first, but I'll just show you how I do the eggs and everything. So I mix the hash browns in with the eggs. I know some people might think this is gonna be really gross, but seriously, just try it. Just try it one time. If you don't like it, that's fine. But it seriously is so good. So this is how I take the perfect bite. I get some egg and hash browns. Sorry, excuse my baby in the background. I take some of the cottage cheese. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. It's seriously so good. So I wanted to show you guys exactly how I make this combination and how I get the perfect bite. Oh yeah. So good. So let me know if you end up trying this. Let me know in the comments if you think this is disgusting or if you've tried it and you love it. Um, I just wanna do a quick video because I get a lot of questions on exactly how I cook the eggs and hash browns and all that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. And like I said, don't knock until you try it.